Hi guys, this is Noish Sharma and in this session we will discuss the DAX function selected columns, add columns in Power BI. So first of all we check the selected columns, DAX function. This function adds the calculated column to the given table. It means we can add the new one or multiple columns in the table using this selected columns DAX functions. This function written the tables. The, it means the result of this function is the table. As you can see in the syntax, we have the selected columns and the table, name, expression, name, expression. It means we can add the multiple column. So first of all, table name, table in which table you want to add the columns, then name, name of the columns, new columns, then expression. Suppose you want to apply some kind of calculation or expression for creating the new columns, then you can apply the you can use the expression return to value the entire table table with one or columns it will return the tables with the new added columns selected columns this function always return the new table it means it does not retain the original column from the old table when you select the table name in which you want to add the column so if there are some columns it will not retain those columns and will start from the empty table Next one is the add columns. Add columns function, it is very similar to the selected columns. All the difference is, in case of the add columns, it appends the columns. It retains the original or existing column in the table. Now, selected columns versus add columns. What is the actual difference between these two? The big difference between these two is, in case of the add columns. The add column text function keeps all the existing columns. It means it retain the old columns in the table and append or add the new columns. But in case of the selected column, it starts from the zero columns. It starts from the empty table. So it will add only those columns which has been added recently. Now, we check the our data. So we have the data, country, list of countries, then product and quantity sold and the unit price. So we will use this data file for the demo of the selected columns and the add column. So we check the practical use of the selected column and the add columns. So as you can see, the data already uploaded. We have the country, product, quantity sold and unit price. As suppose, first of all, we check the selected column. The selected columns, the, it, it starts from the new table. The return type, the return type of the selected column is the table. So first of all, we select the new table and say all data, then selected columns, then tables, table name, then column name, say country country second column product then third quantity sold Then fourth, unit price done. Now I execute this one. So now we have a new table. So in this new table, we have the four columns which is added. We added, and now we add one more column. Total sales. And total sales, it's a multiplication of the quantity sold and unit price. So we have to display the row wise. So calculate and then sum quantity sold multiply by some function unit price 
now we execute this one so you can see one more new column added that is the total sales means quantity sold and unit price multiplication so this is how you can use the selected columns for creating the new columns with the expression suppose if we use the add columns rather than selected columns we change i change this one say add column if i try this function now so there is a, an error it says country columns cannot be added because the country column is already there in case of the add column it retains the existing columns and country column is already there so we cannot add the country column again we cannot add the duplicate column if i delete this one country execute again so now we have the now error for the product so i have to delete this one product and quantity sold unit price only this column total sales this does not exist in the table so it will retain all the existing column plus add this column or plus append this column so if i execute now so we can see the very first column it now total sales multiplication of the unit price and the quantity sold so this is how you can use the add column function so guys this was all about the dax functions selected columns and add columns in power bi thanks for watching the video